All right, guys, so as promised, I am here to review three different Arcona products for you. These are part of a campaign that Skin Store is doing, so these items were sent to me by Skin Store. So thank you, because now I get to finally try out this brand. So with this campaign, they sent over a huge list of skincare on their site that has vitamin C. And it took me about half an hour to go through the whole list, review the products, review the brands, and see what I was interested in. I could have gone here and there with brands, but I decided to hone in on Arcona because it has been on my list of brands that I want to try and like truly experience. So I had used a mask from them maybe five or six years ago, and I thought it was like, I don't want to say life-changing, but like it was there were results. Like the next morning, I just noticed that my skin looked amazing. And at the time, I think I wasn't particularly invested in skincare the way I am now. My investment, both mentally and financially in skincare, has probably only been more so in the past three years, I would say, like truly. So here we are, Arcona. We have three different vitamin C products. I'm telling you right now, they're all really good and I'm gonna recommend them all to you so you know, you decide which one is more interesting to you. The first one I'm gonna talk about is so unbelievably awesome and I'm so excited to share it with you because you know that my holy grail eye cream serum is the Cosmetics Opti Crystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum. I was sent this maybe five, six, six years ago, and I have continued to repurchase ever since. I have many, many empties of this. This is what I use for the most part for most of the year, and that is like the caveat there, is when it's summer, I don't use this at all because it's just it really is too intense and if I do use it I might only use it sparingly like here and there throughout the week once or twice kind of to bolster the moisture there intermittently so I'm very excited to share this with you this is the Arcona I do plus there is the regular I do I am not familiar with that it is less expensive than this so what I'm presenting with you is an alternative because while this is, I think, $95, this is also $90 or $95. So it's not cheaper. However, you do get more product. You get 0.4 ounces in the Arcona and 0.25 in the cosmetics. So while you're paying a similar amount, you are getting more product in this one. And I'm gonna show you the texture of it because that is what makes this so amazing, what makes both of them so amazing. The bluish one is the Cosmetics, and the orangey one is the Arcona. So when I blend them out, you can really see it. Even right now, you're not getting all the different colors that they're shifting, but it gives you an idea of the texture. It is a very gel-like formula, but it's a very thin thick gel, particularly the cosmetics one. And that is the reason why I cannot use it all year round because it is too dense for me during the summer. But this one, it's still thick. I mean, this is not some kind of like liquidy, runny type cream. However, it has a little bit more spreadability and it is a little bit less dense, allowing me to use this all year round. But because you can use the Arcona one all year round. I think it is highly worth your pennies. Uh, of course, as usual, when I present anything from Skin Store to you guys, there is a code, and I will have it down below. I believe it's 25% off. So, if you have been loving the Optic Crystal from Cosmetics, definitely try this. The results for me are very similar. They're, it's extremely hydrating, it's very brightening, it will absolutely help your fine lines. I do not have wrinkles yet, so I can't speak to that, but fine lines wise, I think that my ability to have maintained my under eyes in this way is because of that eye cream. So I'm here to tell you that that is an excellent alternative and I highly recommend you try it. I know it's pricey. That's why I'm really happy that I'm presenting it to you with a discount. I feel like I sound so QVC right now. <laughs> I'm not I feel like I'm really, really trying to sell you this eye cream, but I really am. I, I'm like, I know that the other two products I'm gonna talk about are gonna be very appealing to you as well because I have really loved them, but this eye stuff, 
I do plus right make sure you're getting the I do plus I will specifically link this one they have just the I do and when I read reviews about that one it just seemed less hydrating and moisturizing than this one like this one rave reviews and I didn't ha I knew nothing about the texture I knew nothing about its similarity to the cosmetics so when I first tried it, it was almost like one of those moments where like I wish I was doing it like a first impressions on camera because I was in shock because I literally thought that there would never be like a really good alternative to the cosmetics one and beyond excited. The next two products from Arcona are the Night Worker and the Brightening Drops. The Brightening Drops is more of a spot treatment or at least that's how it's promoted and the Night Worker is a cream. So we'll start with the brightening drops. The brightening drops I thought would have like maybe a dropper type form, but it is just a pump bottle, which I'm also fine with. Okay, so these brightening drops is a gel and it's a very runny gel and it spreads out really easily and sinks into the skin really nicely. I like really enjoy the texture of this. The scent on here is very interesting. It's not pleasant or unpleasant. It's just kind of like it's it's disinfectanty a little bit not like it's going to invade your nose but it has like a cleaning agent type scent to it it will dissipate you're not gonna it's not any kind of lingering thing but i just want you to know that it's there even if you are sensitive to scent i don't think this will like affect how you feel about the product so with this product i have been applying it just here basically where my mask is you can use it as a spot treatment i haven't done that yet although i do have one right here that we will be trying it out on but it has been very brightening for me i haven't had any specific dark issues there's just been very uneven skin tone i've been dealing with issues that i usually don't have to contend with when we were not wearing masks so i think this is excellent for brightening like it says as with most treatments whether they be retinol glycolic lactic acid if you are sensitive vitamin c's that are formulated to be used in a nighttime routine, you absolutely should be topping it off with a moisturizer. Do not use something <laughs> that has a treatment element to it and then not top it off because not only are you now unable to see whether it's truly able to help you with the concern you did have and that you were trying to fight, now you've created another issue which is dryness or peeling, etc. and it will make it very difficult for you to treat now both. So. A little just I don't know disclaimer for people who uh, oftentimes when I read reviews and people complain about products being drying them out if you are not topping it off then it will dry you out and you won't be able to see if it's actually taking care of what you want to take care of okay so the brightening drops you can use every night and I have and I did not have any issues with it because I topped it off with a moisturizer Next up is the Night Worker Vitamin C Repair Cream. It is recommended to use this one to two times a week. I do think you can use this more. I have used it every other day for a week and it seemed fine for me. Again, I don't have sensitive skin. The scent of this is kind of like somewhere between peach and orange, but it's very faint. It is a cream. It has a good amount of like density, but it does blend out and absorbs very easily. Now, I have used it alone as just my night treatment and my night cream. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that for everyone because vitamin C can be strong and sensitizing for, I don't, I'm not, I don't wanna say certain skin types, but just it can be. Your skin, your particular skin type might just react quickly to vitamin C. But like I said, I have used it both ways with a moisturizer on top and without a moisturizer on top. Both ways have been fine. This for me has been more of an overall treatment where like I wake up and I just feel like my skin looks plumper and brighter. Between these two products, even though the brightening drops are suggested as more of a treatment that can be used daily and the night worker is something that is recommended to be used a couple times a week, I've been using them very similarly. If I had to pick one to recommend to like a everyone general type recommendation, I'd probably recommend the brightening drops because the texture is thinner 
and I just enjoy like that kind of a experience more. When I am doing skincare and when I layer, I prefer layers to be thin. <laughs> So this to me is just easier to work with. Not that these affect your makeup because you're not using these during the day. The Night Worker I think is kind of more of a one and done thing because you could potentially use this as your treatment and your moisturizer. So they all kind of have their benefits. My preference is just this because after I apply this, I like applying something else on top of it and it doesn't feel like it's too much for my skin. Sometimes when you're layering, it could feel like, is any of this penetrating my skin? Is any of this going to be effective? So I like them both. It really depends on your preference, but I absolutely five bajillion percents to jizz recommend this Arcona I Do Plus eye cream. Okay, so that is my review of those three Arcona products. If you are familiar with Arcona, then you know, like all their stuff is really good. If you go read reviews, you just pick a product online and read about it, you're generally gonna find really, really positive reviews. I'm so excited like to try other stuff because in while trying to choose which products from Arcona to review for you guys for this video, I also came across so many other things that obviously were not vitamin C related that I also am very interested in trying. So 25% so off code will be listed below. These products will be linked below. I do plus. Okay, on to other stuff. Okay, so I picked up this Trader Joe's Malabari Paratha a while ago. So it's been in the freezer for a little bit, but we're gonna try it. And we're just gonna have the palak paneer with it. Okay, tested out the paratha. This is actually pretty good. Whatever one we've seen before, was it in purple packaging? Basically what the other paratha we've seen, that one is super disgusting. This one is really good. The palak paneer never disappoints. So we're gonna enjoy this one. Okay, this is the beverage station. It doesn't look horrible. Usually there's packets of coffee over there, but I mean, we need to clean the Keurig. There's a drawer here that is well organized. Not really stuff I use that often. So we need to make this like the everyday drawer. Under here, we have just things that we've just let pile up. So we need to just organize this. Okay, so about a week later, I finally kind of figured out how I want this coffee station to look. And the coffee station is that there's only this <laughs> right here and when we come down into this drawer I love when I see really beautiful versions of organization but mine needs to be functional so these are things I reach for that was kind of keeping on the countertop I have diet tea I do the Lacey Lebeau I don't have it every day but like let's say I haven't had vegetables for a couple days I'll use that I have magnesium which is really great for stress and anxiety. Zycam, that is excellent to prevent colds. I have my various CBDs. We have isolates, we have full spectrums. I am trying out gummies soon. Oh my God, I cannot wait to share those with you guys. Then I have some sugar, coffee, tea, things that I drink more frequently. We have some napkins, some hand wipes, and then I also have my pills that I take. On a daily basis, I will take the CVS Super B Complex with vitamin C and I take an allergy pill. That's a daily thing. We've got our Aleve in there. Those are some chewable vitamin C. So when that is closed up, we have this drawer. And then this is much better organized now. It doesn't look amazing, but it's organized. So in the back, there's apple cider and tea, and then we have hot cocoa and brown sugar milk tea. Then we have some backups of stuff, CBD, some honey, etc. And then more coffees, some tea accessories, and then more coffee. I'm really into coffee, guys. And then underneath here is just really backups. We have just canisters I'm not using and more ginger tea, more coffee, more sugar. So yes, I am very happy with this. I like that this is just the only thing sitting here now and I have much joy and peace when I make coffee or tea now. 
All right, guys, so I figured we would close out this video with a makeup haul. I am so excited. I have a lot of new stuff, which, you know, we've been talking about makeup, like there's just not that much exciting stuff lately. And I also have Sephora videos coming out for you guys. So those will be Wednesday, Thursday, I'm not sure, Friday. What, the sale starts the 9th. So do you want them like the day before or so? I don't know. Anyway, so my hair. I feel like it's at awkward lengths right now, so when I use my curling iron, like there's weird stuff happening. Anyway, I have stuff here. It's exciting because I haven't swatched any of it. I literally saved it so that we could, you know, first bite together. So, uh, from Nordstrom, I picked up the Bobbi Brown Camel eyeshadow. Guys, this was like in my favorites videos every month for like five years, right? Like something like that. I, the other one I had was the first one. I had it for so long and I just kind of decluttered it. I'm so happy to have this color back in my life. It is my favorite, like, one shadow shade. I mean, whew, I can't wait. I'm excited. You're going to see this a lot soon. That is going to be all over the eyes, lower lash line, top lash line, blend out into the crease. I'm just going to throw, like, a sparkly shade and it's going to be so good. This is, I believe, a limited edition for NARS. It's NARS Laguna in their bronzing cream. Look at this packaging. It's matte black. Oh, with the rose gold and even all the... Oh, you have to see it and touch it to be like, oh my god about it. But it's very oh my god. And I love bronzer, bronzing cream, contour cream. That shade looks perfect. I've seen some reviews on this. It looks... Pretty good. Ooh, yes, that is a good shade. That's the cream. There's also Casino if you want something with a deeper and like more red undertone. This is also on Sephora now, so if if it is really good on my Pinterest board where I have all of my Sephora recommendations, I will shift this over to like bronzers I'd recommend. You know, I'm really excited for this. Woo. So this is from Ulta. It's the Nude Sticks bronzer. So throughout the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I've really only bought the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy and this. I don't know if I really bought anything else. Anyway, so this was half off. It's in the shade Bondi Bay and it looked warm to me, which I guess is why I've never really picked it up, but it has really, really good reviews. So let's see. Well, that is warm, but it might look really, really pretty. It might be like bronzer. So that's Bondi Bay from Nude Sticks. I mean, all of these look so good. From, I can't remember, maybe I got this from Target. I think I was trying to like round out an order to get free shipping. But this is the Elf No Budge Shadow Stick in Copper Chic. I've shared these with you before. I shared them with you probably when they were more initially released. They've updated the packaging so that the color inside matches the packaging on the outside. But I just love these. They're a really great shadow stick. They blend out so easy and then they, I use them as a base so then they just set your shadow really pretty and they all have like a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if they have any matte versions of this but that's Copper Chic. This goes great because it's a really great base for pretty much most of the eye color looks that I would do. Okay, off Selfridges, I picked up two of the Dior Quints that were released for summer. The shades looked really, really, really similar. So I'm pretty sure there's no world where you would need both of these. This one is Dune and this one is Mirage. So I picked these up because formula. I love Bake Chalet. These have been getting really good reviews across the board and I believe there will be, ooh, oh my gosh, beautiful. So I believe for fall, there will be another release of Bake Chalet. It's called Birds of a Feather or something. And the embossing on there is going to be feathers. I think it was supposed to be released fall of last year, but something happened. I think it was called the pandemic and uh, they didn't release it, but they're going to and it'll be exciting. So these are really pretty, but I can totally see how these are not necessary. <laughs> you do not need both. In fact, right now, I'll tell you to just get Mirage because it has way more contrast. So here's Dune. You can barely see those shades. I think on the lids, they'll be easier. Sometimes I have a hard time <laughs> swatching Bake Gelee, especially when they're all these kinds of like natural looking tones. And then that's 
mirage so again you have that like that deeper brown that's easier to create dimension these are just great for summer it's overpriced obviously but off of selfridges i think they retailed originally at 55 whereas in the u.s i think they're retailing for 62 so other thing with baked chalet to note is that usually once you use it a couple times you'll probably get more pigment so that's what i'm hoping for because not that i'm against the kind of like light to medium pigment here it's just that when i was seeing swatches for these and i was looking at the swatches from people who do good swatches you know how a lot of people do swatches and it's like for pretty and you're like you must have swatched that 10 times to make it look like that i'm talking about like people who do good swatches like realistic swatches so i'm thinking maybe these will just have more pigment as i use them more let me see let me just pretend let me really get in there oh yeah okay yes yes okay definitely the more you get in there the more vibrant and pigmented it'll be Okay, so lastly, I picked up the NARS Euphoria palette. NARS packaging. When I saw this, at first it had given me like Chinese New Year vibes, but it's actually more of like a like corally red. And the packaging itself is matte. And then this sheen, this like acrylic, is actually clear acrylic, but because it's picking up the color from like the palette, and that's why it looks this way, it's so pretty. I love it. So you get eyeshadows and three highlighters. I basically picked this up because I, I like love NARS. NARS eyeshadows tend to look the same in every palette. They like, like warm tones, they do oranges, pinks, purples a lot. Um, or at least that's the ones I veer towards. So this is on Selfridges, I believe for 60 something, but it was also on the NARS website and there was like a 20% off code that day that I finally decided to pick it up. So those are the eyeshadows. I This whole lineup over here is very appealing to me, especially these three kind of shimmery shades. And then you have a few mattes here to uh, play with. It's just, it's gonna be a really easy palette for me to use. Okay, so next we're gonna swatch these highlighters. These highlighters I'm probably just gonna use as eyeshadows. I actually wish they would do a bronzer in here but i guess that's neither here nor there these are just going to be very beautiful shimmery shades to use on the lid so those are the highlights it's basically like light medium deep highlight <laughs> they're all really beautiful though anyway i am really excited to use these products and that is my small but exciting haul and you'll probably see these in some like makeup sharings or products i'm enjoying right now there will be sephora videos that will do a skincare, hair care, body care, candles video, and we'll also do a makeup video. So those two videos will go up simultaneously. That way all of your recommendations are going up at once. And I think that's it. Yeah, I will see you in those videos. Bye-bye.